Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, But Like an Apricot. Uh, so I'm, sh I'm sure many of you are scared when you uh, want to start your fitness journey or don't know what to do. And I was the same, I was like you as well, because when I, when I thought that I need to start getting fit and I need to start working on myself, I was so clueless that I had no idea how to go about it. And, and now I'm sure uh, there's so many people in fitness pages and uh, people helping uh, online back then i hardly had any clue i was not even on instagram back then i just had a personal account and you know what kind of uh, shit we used to post on instagram back then okay and that was just stupidity that we, i used to post on my personal account which doesn't exist anymore okay so back in 2015 i took the decision of being fit and uh, it was like really tough for me as well because i wasn't too sure of what to do and what not to do okay I was one girl who used to have butter chicken as breakfast so you can imagine how um, unhealthy my way of living was that was like very consistent with the uh, water in the morning that I used to take but after that I didn't care I used to have anything anything I didn't care about the nutrition value I didn't care about the macros I didn't care about the micronutrients nothing at all I didn't even know what was that okay so I'm gonna start with the 10 things that helped me in starting my fitness journey and these are like the basic tips and if you want to start your fitness journey you can start with these 10 basic tips and I'm sure after a year you will see tremendous results okay why I'm sharing all this is because I know how people feel when they are not seeing changes and when they are not able to start something new for themselves so this is a video as usual to help as many people as I can around yeah. okay so the first point I started hitting the gym regularly okay uh, there was not even a single um, moment in my life where I thought that um, I don't feel like working out okay at time I used to feel um, tired and didn't feel like going for a workout but that was because my body needed some rest otherwise I used to hit the gym like five to six times a, a week and I was like pretty regular with it no matter what exercise or no matter how tough it, you, it was for me uh, back then um, I still did my best and I think like whenever I, I was at the gym uh, my mind and my body was there at the gym itself so I never used to think about any other person or I never used to think about any uh, other thing in my life just me my body and my mind there working out okay so first thing that I did uh, second thing, I stopped the intake of all sugary drinks, be it aerated drinks, be it mocktails, be it cocktails. I never used to, I wasn't an alcoholic ever, like I never liked drinking alcohol. It's just like one, third, one or two glasses of wine in a year or something like that. Okay, I stopped having juices, packed juices, fresh fruit juices. Okay, so nobody, uh, I still remember when I used to go for my coachings uh, in uh, August 2015. I used to have a glass of orange juice um, no it was November 2015 okay so I used to have a glass of orange juice in the morning and start my day with with an orange juice so thinking that it was healthy okay but that's the worst mistake that I did uh, when I started my fitness journey and I gained four kgs okay after joining the gym uh, that's because that's because I was just consuming empty calories and sugar because of the juice that's why I tell always eat the whole fruit do not go for fruit juices they are equally harmful that was that's what that's what I learned when I started my fitness journey okay um, the third point okay I stopped eating all the processed foods okay uh, biscuits cookies chips uh, name it anything anything that comes in a packet I stopped eating that okay it was a very tough decision for me because I was a person who used to eat like 10 chocolates a day, used to love munching on the chips and on all those cookies and cakes and uh, ice cream. But then I stopped eating processed foods. Okay. The fourth point uh, uh, was I stopped eating from outside. Okay. So whenever I used to go out with my family or uh, uh, friends, I used to eat from home and then go. People used to call me stupid and they used to think that I've gone crazy but then for building these muscles I had to do that so um, I stopped eating from outside and uh, 
it kind of really helped me improving my skin improving the way i look and and i was seeing results when i was working out so that gave me a little bit more motivation to work out even harder and to stay uh, healthy and eat clean okay the fit fifth sorry the fifth point okay so i'm telling you making videos like this without any edit is like really tough because i will somewhere and i will talk like this and get stuck in between but it's okay okay the fifth point is i started studying about nutrition okay so there was no one guiding me i didn't know anything about nutrition okay back then and now uh, when i look back i was like shit i was doing so many things wrong and uh, or maybe someone would have guided me so i would have not struggled so much but then because of my struggle i'm able to guide even um uh, i'm able to guide other people around so i started studying about nutrition so i started seeing like what is right and what is wrong and that's where i came to know about why you shouldn't have a fruit juice or why almonds are important in your diet why you should soak your almonds and have it everything like that like the basic basic points okay then i started studying about nutrition that's kind of helped me okay uh the sixth point i increased my water intake there were times in winters when i never when i didn't feel thirsty and the i used to survive on just two glasses of water in a day but then uh, my skin and my hair and my oh uh, uh, i don't know i never used to feel good and uh, lighter from inside so i increased my water intake that's what i did and uh, basic remed- recommendation is like 8 to 10 glasses of water a day okay uh seven point i started eating whole and natural products okay so whenever i used to eat i used to make sure i am eating a vegetable or i am eating uh, some len- uh, lentils or some legumes or uh, um, i am a non vegetarian so i used to eat eggs and chicken and all these things uh so i started eating whole and natural products okay uh eight point i stopped sitting at one place okay Uh, so i used to ke- uh, keep moving from places like i never used to sit at one place for a longer period of time uh, so that i'm so that my body is on the move all the time and i used to uh, count my steps as well and even i kn- you know what i did when i was studying for my cfa exams so i used to get up around 7:30 or 8 o'clock in the morning and i uh, didn't go to a park or for walking or something because i uh, generally think i didn't have that much of time because i studied for just one month so i used to get up from my room to my mom's room from my mom's room to my room back again i used to walk for around like i don't know 100 or 200 rounds like this and used to complete my 10000 steps in a day so that's how i started keeping myself fit because i was obsessed with getting fit i don't know why that craze was there in my mind which is still there but i used to do that uh nine point i used to always walk for like 15 20 minutes after or having my dinner like after 10 minutes have of having my dinner so that i don't feel heavy so this was a basic routine that i was maintaining of uh, walking for 15 20 minutes at night okay and the 10th point the most important i threw all the junk away from my house because if you have junk in your house you are going to munch and there are times when i love few things which i really can't control I still have them but I make sure I just have like twice or thrice a month sometimes otherwise I don't even keep that home because if you have things at your home and you're hungry you're always going to open it up and going to have that so throw all the junk from your house fill your house fill your kitchen fill your fridge with whole natural products have more of fruits veggies chicken eggs nuts okay seeds and drink more and more water i'm sure uh, if you start doing that and are consistent with that for a year you're going to see a lot of changes in you like i uh, was shocked when my acne started disappearing and my uh, i started losing weight the way i wanted to uh, start getting in shape so when i start then i realized that this is really working and now i'm helping people with that because i have the struggles i have gone through i don't want people to go through the same kind of struggles if i can be of help i'm doing that um i hope this video helps you to start your fitness journey as soon as possible uh and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and and i will come with more helpful videos soon bye